Hey everybody, welcome to the Pre-Algebra 6.1 video. We are talking about ratios and rates today. Alright, so what's a ratio? Well, a ratio simply uses division to compare two quantities, and it can be written a couple different ways. A over B, A colon B, or A2, literally the word 2, B. So you could have 2 to 3, which would be the same as saying 2 over 3, or 2, 2, 3. Ooh, that should be A, that should be a 3. Okay? So let's look at this problem here. You take 60 shots at a target, and you hit within the rings four times. So what I want to know is what is the ratio of hits to shots, okay? So hits to shots. So what the, we're going to do first is do hits on top, shots on bottom as a fraction. So how many times did you hit? Well, it said 44 times. How many shots did you take? 60. So you think you'd be done, except that this is a fraction, and fractions can't be simplified. And so what we would do is divide by 2 first, probably, and I'd say, well, I can get 22 over 30, but I can divide that by 2 again on both top and bottom and get 11 over 15. All right, so that's one way of writing it. But what are the other ways of writing this? Well, we could do 11 colon 15, or we could do 11 to 2 15. So what I want you to do is, uh, I want you to pause the video and I want you to try these two. Let's see how you do. Alright, the ratio of hits to misses. Well, let's do the fraction version for first. Hits over misses. How many times did you hit? Well, you hit 44 times. Tells us that. But how many times did you miss? Well, if I'm reading up here, it doesn't actually tell us. But I know I shot 60 times and I hit 44, which means the rest I must have missed. And so if I hit 44 times, how many times did I miss? Well, of course, it's going to be 16, okay? Because 44 and 16 is going to add up to 60, all right? So can I simplify this, though? Yeah, I can. So let's divide by, let's try dividing by 4 this time and we would get 11 over 4, and that's something I can't simplify any further. So that's one version of our answer. That's the other version. And that's the other version. There you go. All right, misses to shots. Let's talk about that. So again, misses to shots. So misses is going to go on top, shots on bottom. How many times did you miss? Well, we already said from down here you missed 16 times. And how many times did you shoot? 60. So let's try dividing by 4 again, see if we get an answer. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 60 divided by 4 is 15. Can't simplify that any further, so we're done there. But we could also write it like that. We could also write it like that. And we're done. That's a 15. So now let's talk about rate and unit rate. Okay, so what's a rate? Well, a rate is just a ratio of two different quantities, so two quantities, that are measured in different amounts. Okay, so example, miles per hour. Okay, miles is a different quantity than hours, okay? And uh, so we would say that's a type of rate, but we can also write like miles hour like that, or even miles... You can write miles to hour, but generally when we talk about rates, we're not going to be using this form or this form. We're going to be using a fraction form, okay? Like words per minute would be another example. All right, so what's a unit rate? Well, it's the same thing as a rate. That should be a comma, not an apostrophe. But the denominator is always one. So up here, miles per hour, okay? Um, you know, as a rate, we could write that maybe as like 120 miles for two hours, okay? But down here, the unit rate version of that would be 60 miles per one hour. That's the key, always one. 72 words per one minute. That's a unit rate, whereas something like 147 words, words, that says words, I promise. Wow. Sorry about that. W-O-R-D-S per like, you know, four minutes. Well, that's a rate, but it's not a unit rate, okay? It's a rate because it has different quantities, words and minutes, but it's not a unit rate because the denominator isn't one. All right, so an F-22 Raptor fighter jet can fly at a cruising speed of 100, um, 1,220 miles per hour. Is that a rate or is that a unit rate? Well, let's consider a unit rate has to have a denominator of one. So 120, 1,220 miles per hour. If I were to write that as a fraction, I do 1, 2, 2, 0 oh, miles per hour, okay? That's a singular term, so it's one hour. So is it a rate? 
Yeah, it's actually a, a, a rate. But is it a unit rate? Yes, it's actually both. It is a rate and a unit rate all at the same time. All right, so uh, although they try their hardest, these guys only fly at a speed of 14 miles every two hours. Is that a rate and is that a unit rate? Well, is it a rate? Well, let's see, 14 miles every two hours. So miles and hours are different. So yeah, it's actually a rate. But is it a unit rate? Uh, it's actually not a unit rate because that right there is a two. In order for that to be a unit rate, it would have to be a one. All right, so this angry plane flew from Austin to San Francisco, a distance of 2,100 miles in three hours. Is this a unit rate? Uh, is it a rate? And if not, fine. If it's not a unit rate, that's fine, the unit rate. Okay, so let's see. 2,100 miles in three hours. So as a, as a fraction, I would write that as, let's do it over here maybe. I would write that as 2,100 miles per three hours. So is it a rate? Well, yeah, it's definitely a rate. But is it a unit rate? No, because this isn't a one. So let's find the unit rate here. All right. So a unit rate, remember, has to have a denominator of one. So the question is, in this case, it's going to still be hours. What do I do to three to make it one? Well, I'm going to divide by three. So that means I need to divide the top by three as well. And if you take 2100 and you divide it by three, you'll find that you get 700, and we're still talking about miles per hour. All right, so 700 miles per hour is the same thing as 2100 miles in three hours, but this is just a rate. This is both a rate and a unit rate. Again, unit rate because the denominator is one. All right, so another kind of cool thing. Um, as technology advances, we keep getting into what's called nanotechnology, all right? And so we have little things like microscopic robots that can actually travel through the human body, okay? So let's say this little one here um, can travel through the aorta at a speed of one inch every four seconds. What is this as a unit rate? Okay, so currently they tell us it's one inch every four seconds. So one inch every four seconds is like saying, um, oops, what am I doing here? One one inch per four seconds, right? So that's a rate that looks like that in fraction form. Okay, so what is that a, as a unit rate? Well, remember, a unit rate has to have a denominator of one, and we're going to keep seconds. So what do you do to four to make it a one? Well, you divide by four. So, But if you do something to the bottom of a fraction, you have to do it to the top. And what's one divided by four? Well, you actually end up getting... 0.25 or a fourth of an inch every second. Okay, so that's the unit rate. Now, how far can it travel in one minute? The nice thing about finding the unit rate, which is again 0.25 inches per one second, is that now we can use that to find things like, well, how far can it travel in one minute? So my question is, this is 0.25 inches per second. I want to know how many inches in one minute, okay? So you might be saying, well, how do I go from one second to one minute? Well, keep in mind, one minute, that's the same thing as saying 60 seconds, right? So then how do you go from one second to 60 seconds? Well, of course, you multiply by 60. So what are, we, what are we going to do up there? Well, we're going to multiply by 60 as well, and 0.25 times 60 ends up getting you 15, okay, and then our right, guess will put inches up there. 15 inches every 60 seconds or one minute. So that would be how far it can travel in a minute. 15 inches, which is pretty decent if you consider this thing as like uber, 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 uber microscopic. All right, guys, that is really all I have for you. So thanks for sticking with it. I will see you in class.